hello my youtube fam and welcome back to another video today i'm going to show you how to make my meat lovers lasagna let's get into it okay guys so here is all of the ingredients that you will need i've already pre diced up all of my ingredients of course you can use the sauce of your choice the cheese of your choice the meats of your choice i am using ground beef hot sausage kielbasa sausage and i'm also going to use pepperoni for my meat lovers lasagna Okay guys, so the first thing I'm gonna get started on is my ground beef and my hot sausage. So of course I just toss my ground beef into my little uh, pot here. I'm also gonna dump in these hot sausage. Um, these sausage is not just good for breakfast. These sausages are bomb. So Jimmy Dean's versatile sausage, it is not used just for breakfast, bomb. If you have not tried this recipe yet or tried it in any of your um, pastas, please try it out. So now that I have my ground beef and my sausage combined, I'm just going to let this simmer down for about 20 minutes or so before I add in my veggies. Okay, and now I'm going to toss in my diced green peppers, my onions, and some minced garlic. I'm going to cook this down until this, it, excuse me, until it is completely done. Okay, you guys, now my ground beef and hot sausages are draining. I am going to brown my kielbasa sausages. I'm going to toss in the pepperoni and the mushrooms. I'm also going to add in just a splash, just a dollop of oil. And let's give this a stir. And I'm using the same pan that I cooked my, um, I didn't clean it or anything. I'm using the same pan that I cooked my ground beef and hot sausage in. So now I'm just going to get these sausages nice and brown. Then I'm going to add back in the ground beef and the hot sausage. And I'm going to add in my sauce, my seasonings, and then I'm going to let everything simmer together. And that should be that. Here's all my meat, cooking up nice and good. There we go. Okay, okay so I'm gonna let this brown, you guys, and I will be right back. Okay, so this is what I want my sausage and pepperoni to, and my mushroom to look like. Everything is cooked down and brown, just like I like it. To add our ground beef back in, 
very carefully. Now let's give this a nice stir. Smells so good. sauce and I'm going with Prego. Probably can't see it. Prego. It's regular traditional sauce. Okay. I'm going to mix this up to see how saucy it is. Of course, if you're a lasagna, make it as saucy as you want. Okay, so I'm going to add the rest of this like that. And of course, we're going to do the trick. A dab of water in that jar because we ain't wasting nothing. Add a dab of water in that jar. Shake it, shake it. Booyah. Okay, let's stir this up and see. I'm also going to turn my fire down to a little bit because I'm about to simmer this. Now let's see how saucy it is. Okay. Ooh, it smells so good. You know what? I want to add. I want to add a little bit more spaghetti sauce. Little, little bit some more. Okay. I'm gonna add about mm, that much more. Okay, let's see. Let's see where we are at now. Oh yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So now we want to add in some seasons. Cause y'all know we gotta jazz up this uh, jar sauce. Now, if you make your own sauce, kudos to you. I ain't got time for that today. Let's see, so we go jazz this up. This is Italian seasoning. You definitely need this, for sure. Let's add in some Italian seasoning. Quite a bit of that. And we're gonna add in some garlic salt. And again, I'm just eyeballing. Y'all know I eyeball my seasonings. I eyeball it. And as it simmers, I'm going to keep tasting. I'm going to add in some Creole. It's on the saturies. I'm going to also add in some Lari seasoning sauce. Not too much. And I'm going to add in some garlic and herb seasoning. And lastly, some black 
pepper. Boom. Let's give this a nice good stir. with some sugar maybe about what is that like one fourth cup of sugar another good stir and now we are going to Turn this on the lowest setting. Let this simmer. Come back and check it in about a half an hour. Okay, guys, so my sauce is all done. I let it simmer for about, like I said, about 25 to 30 minutes. And now it is time to get our ricotta cheese filling um, mixed up here. And what I do with my ricotta cheese, I just put it in a mixing bowl and I add in some garlic parmesan seasoning, which I'll show you. I also add in a few um, sprinkles of nutmeg and I'm also going to incorporate my cheese in my ricotta. Okay, so my ricotta cheese filling is looking great. As you can see, I added some Monterey Jack and some Parmesan and Romano cheese to this filling. I like to save my mozzarella cheese for when I'm layering. Okay, so as you can see, I'm not making a large lasagna at all. And this part is pretty self-explanatory. It's just layering. Um, I know some people do it differently. Some people start with noodles. Some people start with sauce. You might start with cheese. However you want to layer your lasagna is fine. So I usually start off with sauce. And these noodles are lifesavers. Listen, you can use the boiled noodles if you want to. I'm pretty much addicted to these oven ready noodles now. They save a lot of time, especially if you're in a rush.
So after I layer down my sauce, I usually go noodle, then I usually go ricotta cheese, then I go mozzarella cheese, and then I repeat the process. So it is sauce noodles, ricotta filling, and cheese repeat. Sauce noodles, ricotta filling, and cheese repeat. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. So we have reached our last layer. So my oven is preheated on 350. I am going to bake this lasagna until the cheese on the top is nice and bubbly. And here is my pretty lasagna in the oven ready to be baked. And here you have the finished product, my four meat lasagna. Pair it with some garlic bread, pair it with a beautiful salad. It is rich, it is ooey gooey cheesy, it is delicious, it is flavorful. You guys, thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay safe and stay blessed.